Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is integration. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use trigonometric relationships to integrate trigonometric functions. I've copied the trigonometric IDs from the formula booklet into this screen. These are at the top of the screen, and we'll use a couple of these in our two examples, beginning with number one, the integral of cosine x squared with respect to x. Using our algorithm, step one, identify function type. We're dealing with a trig function. And in this case, the squaring function, the outer function, is going to lead us to look for a trig ID to replace cosine x squared with, so we can integrate. Looking at our options, we see cosine x squared in a couple of places. The one that we're going to use is in the third column, the double angle formulate column. In the second identity, we see 2 cosine a squared minus 1, so we'll replace the a with x. 2 cosine x squared minus 1 is an identity with, we have a few options, let's go with the one that doesn't have the squaring function, that's on the left, cosine 2 x. We'll manipulate the identity so that we have cosine x squared alone on the left side. We'll begin by adding 1 to both sides. That will eliminate the minus 1 on the left. Then dividing by 2. We have cosine x squared on the left is an identity with cosine 2x plus 1 over 2. So now our integral is the integral of cosine 2x plus 1 over 2 with respect to x. I'll bring the multiple of 1 half outside of the integral. So we're going to integrate 1 half times cosine 2x plus 1 with respect to x. And we have 1 half times the integral of cosine of 2x. The integral of the cosine function is sine. Our argument is 2x, and we want to multiply by 1 over the derivative of the inner function. The inner function is 2x. The derivative of 2x is 2, so we will multiply by 1 over 2. Plus 1 will integrate to plus x, and we'll add on our constant of integration, plus c. And in our final simplification, I'll distribute the 1 half. We have 1 half times 1 half sine 2x is 1 over 4 sine 2x plus 1 half times x is 1 half x plus 1 half times c, c being the constant of integration, we'll simply leave as plus c. So the integral of cosine x squared with respect to x is 1 fourth sine 2x plus 1 half x plus c. And now example 2, the integral of quantity secant x plus tangent x squared with respect to x. Step 1, identify function type. I know this is a trig function. I'm not sure whether I'm going to need to apply an identity, so I'll begin by expanding secant x times secant x is secant x squared. Secant x times tangent x is secant x tangent x. We'll have two of those, plus two secant x tangent x. And tangent x times tangent x is plus tangent x squared with respect to x. Now I see three terms two of which I will be able to integrate, the first two terms. It's tangent x squared that tells me I'm dealing with not only a trig function, but I want to use an identity to replace the tangent x squared trig function with something that I can integrate. So looking for options in my identities table, I see the identity 1 plus tangent theta squared is an identity with secant theta squared. So let's use that. 1 plus tangent, in our case, x squared is an identity with secant 
x squared. I'll manipulate the identity so that we have tangent x squared on the left side by subtracting 1. And now in our integral, we can replace tangent x squared with secant x squared minus 1. Now we have the integral of secant x squared plus 2 secant x tangent x plus in place of tangent x squared, we're going to input secant x squared minus 1, all with respect to x. Further simplification leads us to combine the two secant x squared terms. We have 2 secant x squared plus 2 secant x tangent x minus 1 with respect to x. Now I have three terms that I can integrate, either using the antiderivative from the derivatives table in the formula book, or using an integral from the integrals table in the formula book. What I'm going to get to is the integral of secant x squared is tangent x, so 2 times tangent x. The integral of secant x tangent x is secant x, so 2 secant x. And the integral of 1 is x minus x. And finally, we'll add on our constant of integration, plus c. The integral of quantity secant x plus tangent x squared with respect to x is 2 tangent x plus 2 secant x minus x plus c. Let me go back to each of my examples and add in some notation to reference our algorithm. In example 1, step 2, apply integration rule. We did that. And step 3, include constant of integration. In the next line, we completed step 4, simplification. There were no limits of integration to calculate a definite integral. And example 2, step 2, apply integration. It's our last line of the analysis. Our last line is also step 3, include constant of integration. No further simplification is required, nor are there limits of integration given. Notice that we did not use a compound angle formula. Those are the formulae in the middle column in either of our examples. You might need to do so. Remember, you'll have these identities in the formula book, so you don't need to have all of these memorized, but you do need to be able to identify a scenario in which you need a trigonometric identity, and you need to be able to identify which identity to use. We've completed our requirements, and this concludes the lesson on using trigonometric relationships to integrate trigonometric functions.